All right, guys, it is coming up on uh, 3.35 in the afternoon, and I just got through doing uh, one of my sports shows, and I wanted to jump here on Facebook and social media and let you know uh, that there is now a tornado warning uh, that includes the area near Bay Springs, Mississippi. Uh, if you're watching me right now, uh, near the Beneville National Forest, Montrose, Lewin, or northern Bay Springs, Mississippi, you guys are now under a tornado warning. And this warning uh, goes for another 54 minutes. Uh, now, the National Weather Service in Jackson uh, just reported that there is a debris signature uh, with this storm uh, that is sitting north of Bay Springs, Mississippi. Uh, so if you're watching me in Bay Springs, Mississippi, or if you're watching me near Montrose, uh, you need to go on ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, this is the lowest floor of your home near the center and away from windows. And you are looking right here at... You are looking right here at the reflectivity and let me switch over here to velocity and there is your couplet uh, coming right here stretching along highway 15 uh, between Montrose and Lewin, Mississippi and this is north of Heidelsburg and north of Sandersville mm -hmm. in Mississippi uh, so there is your brand new tornado warning uh, that does include uh, the Montrose, Mississippi area. Uh, now, this is southwest of Meridian, and this is southeast of Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, now, let me put this into motion for you, and as you can see, uh, there is your area of rotation. There is also another tornado warning back over here uh, to the southwest of McGee, but the most significant one is going to be this one up here uh, towards the Montrose area here in South Mississippi. And I do note uh, that the Weather Service once again says that there is a debris signature uh, with this warning. Uh, so there very well could be a tornado down on the ground uh, with this storm. Uh, and I can actually show it to you right now. And there it is. Uh, so there could be uh, your possible tornado uh, that is just off towards the northeast of Bay Springs, Mississippi. Uh, so we do know that there is a possible tornado down on the ground with this system. Uh, and once again, this is a tornado warning uh, that expires in 51 minutes for northwestern Jeff uh, Jasper County and northeastern Smith County in central Mississippi. Uh, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado at 331 was located over Turnerville, or nine miles north of Stringer, moving to the northwest at 20 miles per hour. And uh, the hazard is a tornado. It is a radar indicated. Uh, the dangerous storm will be near Pineville at 410 and then burns around 425 this afternoon. Also impacted would be Montrose and Lewin, Mississippi. Uh, so there is uh, your couplet and your possible tornado uh, that is going to be sitting right here. Uh, so if you're watching me right now uh, towards Montrose or in between Montrose and Lewin, Mississippi, uh, you need to go on ahead and think about being in your safe place right now uh, because this storm could produce a tornado at any time right now. Uh, this is north of Taylorsville and northwest of Heidelberg and southwest Mississippi. All right, so there is another uh, tornado warning over here uh, north of Monticello, Mississippi. And let me take a look at this one as well. And yeah, there's a little bit of rotation over there near New Hebron. Uh, but that one is looking rather uh, weak at the moment. Uh, that warning uh, goes for another 20 minutes 
for Lawrence and Simpson counties in Mississippi. Uh, but the most significant one right now uh, is going to be this one over here towards Bay Springs, Mississippi. So, once again, I am looking at everything uh, that is coming in here. Give me just a second because I need to... All right. Okay, this, this comes from the National Weather Service in Jackson. Um, tornado warning remains in effect uh, until 4.30 for Jasper and Smith counties down there in Mississippi. Okay. Uh, tornado warning. Okay, so we have a report of a tornado uh, from emergency managers. A possible tornado with a tree on a house and tree snapped uh, near an elementary school in Prentice, Mississippi, which is in Jefferson Davis County. All right, so we have confirmed damage now. Uh, down there in South Mississippi in Jefferson Davis County. Uh, so once again, uh, there is a possible tornado with tree on a house uh, in Prentice, Mississippi. All right, so this is um, becoming a very, very serious situation uh, coming in here uh, towards the Montrose, Mississippi area. And look, we weren't even supposed to have any uh, wind shear down here in this area and weren't even supposed to have any kind of warnings uh, today. But, of course, you know, with severe weather, expect the unexpected. So there is, once again, your uh, possible tornado uh, that is just off to the southeast of Montrose, Mississippi. All right, National Weather Service Jackson continues tornado warning. Uh, radar indicated Jasper and Smith counties until 4.30 this afternoon. Uh, so that was the ding-ding that you just heard. Uh, that was uh, the warnings uh, as the, they, uh, I am in the chat room right now uh, with all of the National Weather Services. And uh, so that the National Weather Service in uh, Jackson, anytime that they update or do any kind of warning, uh, you will hear that ding-ding from time to time uh, because I am in the uh, area there. Okay, so they have updated the warning. All right, so let me uh, read it off to you. Uh, this warning goes for another uh, 47 minutes until 4.30. Uh, capable of producing a tornado was located over Turnersville or 15 miles north of Stringer, moving to the north at 20 miles per hour. Uh, this tornadic storm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Jasper and northeastern Smith counties, including the following locations of Montrose and Lewin, Mississippi. Uh, so once again, if you're watching me in Montrose, if you're watching me up here uh, towards Sun, Roberts, or Lewin, Mississippi, uh, along 15, uh, you need to go going ahead and be in your safe place right now. And I would also be there if I were in my safe place in Verba, Mississippi. Now, this is well north of Laurel, well north of Ellisville, well north of Hattiesburg. Uh, and this is well south of Meridian and southeast of Jackson. Okay, for the other storm that is back off to the southwest, they have canceled the tornado warning for Lawrence County, but continues the warning for Simpson County until 4 o'clock. All right, so once again, the tornado warning uh, that is back off to the southwest, uh, including Simpson County, uh, continues until 4 o'clock. Lawrence has been allowed to expire. Uh, so we've got two tornado warnings right now that I'm working. Uh, we've got this one right here that is over Smith and uh, De um, 
Jasper counties in Mississippi uh, with this area of rotation right here. Uh, we've also got this area of rotation right here uh, that is over Simpson County in Mississippi. Uh, and both of these are moving off to the northwest at a very fast clip. And I do also want to show you for our friends over here in West Alabama, there is an area of rotation that we need to keep our eye on that is here south of Livingston, Alabama. Uh, but there's no formal warning on that one. Uh, there's no formal watches out there, but there are two tornado warnings in Mississippi right now. Uh, so I'm going to focus... On the most significant one right now. Okay, so if you're watching me right now in the city of Montrose, Mississippi. Please be in your safe place right now. This is also if you were in Lewin, Mississippi, uh, just south of Verba. Uh, and this is in the Pine Belt area of Mississippi. And I can go down uh, closer to street level and let you guys see what roads. Uh, if you are along County Road 29, uh, be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you were along Antoc Road, uh, be in your safe place right now. Once again, if you were along uh, Highway 15 uh, that runs through from Montrose all the way down uh, to Lewin, Mississippi, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, that is the lowest floor of your home. Uh, County Road 20, uh, County Road 204, uh, be in your safe place right now as I'm zoomed in here really close. Uh, and that is where the actual tornado uh, would be at this time right now. Uh, just north of Rass and just north of Gidry, uh, Gridley, Mississippi. Uh, and once again, that is a very, very tight couplet there uh, that is sitting just off to the southeast of Mon Montrose, uh, Mississippi. Uh, and there it comes. It's come on through Turnersville. It's come on through McNeil. Uh, and now it is making a beeline towards Montrose right now. And once again, uh, this is a radar-indicated rotation. Uh, however, that is a pretty tight couplet, and that is something that you do not want to see. And let me see what is going on. Okay, so the National Weather Service, let me just go ahead and show you this. It'll be easier to show you. Let me back out. All right, so you see this warning over here for Bridgeport and Shockley? It's gone. That's because the Weather Service in Jackson has canceled the warning for Simpson County. All right, so we've only got one tornado warning right now, and that is going to be for this impressive signature that is sitting southeast of Montrose, Mississippi. And so if you're watching me right now, we're along County Road 23, County Road 206, or County Road 20. Uh, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. If you are along Highway 15 uh, that runs from Baxter, Mississippi, all the way down to Montrose, uh, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, and this storm is, is basically, it looks like it is trying to parallel 15 and move between Montrose and Verba. Uh, it does look like it is taking more of a northern track rather than a northwestern track. But still, uh, I want you in your safe place if you were near Montrose or Verba. And then next up would be Roberts, Mississippi up here. Uh, and then you get over here towards Newton and Lawrence, Mississippi as well. 
Uh, so that is that is about as tight a couplet as I have seen today. Uh, so this thing could be uh, momentarily producing a tornado at any time. Uh, so this is a uh, pretty significant situation uh, for the Pine Belt area of Mississippi in between Montrose and Verba, Mississippi. Now let me also show you this. I have the Jackson, Mississippi radar on. That is the only warning in the state. That is the only warning in the, in the entire state of Mississippi. You have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings coming into Arkansas. You've got a severe thunderstorm watch back towards College Station in Houston, uh, but there was not even supposed to be any kind of Mississippi. And here is the current radar uh, from Jackson. Uh, you've got heavy rain falling in between a corridor from Jackson, Mississippi, all the way down to Hattiesburg. You've got light rain falling if you were up here col towards Columbus, Meridian, and Central Mississippi. Uh, but the only warning that we have in the entire state of Mississippi uh, is going to be for that one storm uh, that you see right up up there uh, to the north of Bay Springs and just north of the Polygon Box. Okay, so the National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a brand new tornado warning for Jasper, Newton, and Scott counties. Uh, and it has canceled Smith. Uh, because the warning is no longer uh, active in Smith County. Uh, so if you're watching in Smith County, uh, you are no longer underneath the warning if you were still in Jasper, Newton, or Scott County. Uh, there is now a tornado warning for you guys as well, and there is your new warning. All right, so that warning goes for another 52 minutes, and that is for the storm uh, that is over Montrose right now. All right, so the new warning uh, includes Jasper, Newton, and Scott counties in central Mississippi until 445. All right, so uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Turnerville or 13 miles uh, south of Newton, moving to the north at 20 miles per hour. It is a slow mover, folks. All right, this dangerous storm uh, would be will be near Roberts around 410, which is in about 15 minutes, and then Lawrence around 430. And then other impacted locations by this tornadic thunderstorm include Lake Mississippi. All right, so there are your only two tornado warnings. Uh, you've got this one down here. Uh, that includes Montrose for northern Jasper County. Uh, and this one goes for another 36 minutes. And then you've got this new one here uh, that includes Jasper, Newton, and Scott Counties. And that warning goes until 445. Uh, and this, like I said, if you're watching me right now in Meridian, if you were watching me right now in Jackson, Mississippi, Uh, those are the only storms of concern. Now, here's the deal. If you're watching in Meridian, Jackson, Hattiesburg, Columbus, Starkville, uh, there's no warnings for you. Uh, this is only for a small portion of Mississippi. Uh, and this does include the areas of Roberts, Lake, 
Mississippi, uh, and this is just on the outskirts of Newton, Mississippi right now. Uh, so let's go on ahead back in here, and it's going to be uh, for this storm that is just north of Montrose right now, coming up towards the Roberts area and the Lawrence, Mississippi area. And let me cut back on velocity. And that thing is still pretty tight. I mean, that's pretty tight. Uh, this is just off to the east of Montrose. Uh, but if you're in Montrose, I still want you to be in your safe place right now. And especially if you were between Montrose and Burba, Mississippi. Uh, so that is the uh, area of concern right now. And I'm looking to see... Uh, and thank goodness that there is nothing on the correlation coefficient uh, which would tell you uh, that if there were anything uh, down on the ground with that. And there's the good news is that there's not anything down on the ground with that. However, uh, there is still a pretty tight couplet. And I can put the zoom out and I can put this into motion for you. And as you can see, uh, in between Montrose and Verba, Mississippi coming up here, uh, towards County Road 15. So if you're watching on County Road 15 uh, or Highway 15 uh, between Montrose and Baxter, Mississippi, please be in your safe place right now. That is the lowest floor of your home near the center and away from windows. Uh, and once again, if you're watching me uh, over here towards Lewin, uh, your severe weather threat is over from this storm. Okay, uh, National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a tornado warning now for Rankin and Simpson counties till 5 o'clock. All right, so that's going to be another warning. And I am guessing for that area right there. All right, so we got two brand new, we got we got two tornado warnings now. We got one that includes Jasper, Newton, and Scott counties. And then another one now for Rankin and Simpson counties in, in Mississippi. And I believe it's going to be for that area that I just circled over there west of McGee, Mississippi. And we are awaiting the new Polygon warning. So we've got this one over here in between Forest and Newton, Mississippi. And we are waiting to see where the new warning is going to pop up. And I think it's going to be west of McGee and east, uh, northeast of Hazelhurst, Mississippi. There it is. Yep. And it is going to be for that area right there. All right. So now we got two areas of rotation on the radar uh, in South Mississippi. Uh, and this does include for Rankin and Smith counties in Mississippi. And this includes Harrisville, Star, Mississippi, and Whites, Mississippi. All right, so Harrisville, uh, your call to action is going to be 415, which is in 15 minutes. Star, around 435. And Whites, Mississippi, around 445. All right, so we've got two areas of rotation right now in Mississippi. So there are... Your two areas, one to the southwest of Mendenhall, the other one up here north of Montrose, Mississippi. And both of them are moving off towards the northwest at around 20 miles per hour. Uh, so this is a very serious situation uh, because we actually have two active tornado warnings uh, for central and south Mississippi. Uh, and this is the one that is southwest of Mendenhall. Uh, if it were to stay on that track, 
uh, it would wind up in the Jackson, Mississippi metro a little bit later on over here towards Florence, Mississippi, Richland, and then Terry. Oh, wow. Okay. We got a tornado on the ground with this storm down here north of Panola, Mississippi. All right. So we got a tornado observed by storm spotters with this storm right here. There it is. There it is. All right, so that is going to be uh, your 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 brand new tornado uh, that is coming up here. Uh, there's your new uh, warning. Uh, so if you're watching us in Harrisville, Rexford, Mississippi, uh, now if you're watching in Panola, uh, the warning has passed your area. Uh, but there's an actual observed tornado uh, that is here observed uh, for 59 more minutes. Uh, this is a confirmed tornado, was located near Panola, moving to the northwest at 20 miles per hour. Uh, flying debris will be, uh, will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Uh, mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur, and tree damage is likely. Harrisville, this tornado is on the ground, and it will be on top of you at 415. Star around 435, and whites at 445 this afternoon. Uh, so once again, there is a tornado on the ground observed uh, by the uh, storm spotters uh, with this storm uh, that is sitting right there. And I can actually show you there is your debris ball. Uh, that is coming up here uh, just south of State Highway 540. Uh, so if you're watching me right now uh, near Harrisville uh, and also along State Highway 540 uh, north of Panola, please be in your safe place right now as this is an observed tornado just off to the southwest of Mendenhall, Mississippi. So once again, uh, State Highway 540 be in your safe place right now uh, as this tornado is coming on top of you uh, very, very shortly. Uh, so let me also check in on our storm over here uh, north of Montrose. All right, so if you're just now joining me, I don't need the reflectivity. All right, if you're just now joining me, we have a confirmed observed tornado right down here uh, that is southwest of Mendenhall. We also have a radar indicated very tight couplet uh, that is coming up here uh, just to the north of Montrose in Mississippi. Uh, and both of these are moving off towards the northwest. And the one that's actually got the observed on it would take a track more towards the Jackson, Mississippi metro area. Uh, the one over here uh, north of Montrose, if it stayed on that track, would come over here closer to Newton, Mississippi. All right, so let me see if I can center both of these up. And that was not, that's not okay. All right, so the one over here... Uh, north of Montrose, if you were watching me right now, uh, and Roberts, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you are north of State Highway uh, 15, uh, be in your safe place, which runs from Baxter down to Montrose, be in your safe place right now. Uh, once again, let me get on in here and show you that um, 532A. Uh, that runs out of Montrose, uh, please be in your safe place right now. Also, County Road 25, uh, please be in your safe place right now, as this is a uh, tornado warning uh, that does include Roberts and Lawrence, Mississippi, until 445. All right, so let me also, but, 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 but for
for the more uh, impactful right now is going to be this center, this circulation right here uh, that is over here uh, that is just off to the southeast of Harrisville. Uh, this actually has a confirmed tornado with it uh, that moved just north of Panola, Mississippi. Uh, so if you're watching right now, In Harrisville, Star, or Whites, Mississippi, uh, please be in your safe place right now as this is a confirmed tornado. Uh, if you're watching me right now, along State Highway 540 uh, near Harrisville, uh, please be in your safe place right now. Okay, so that would be the area of your possible tornado uh, that is south of Harrisville right now. Uh, and this is north of Panola, Mississippi, just off to the southwest and west of Mendenhall. Uh, and if it were to stay on that track, uh, it would take it closer to Jackson, Richland, and Florence, Mississippi. Uh, so this is well to the east of Hazelhurst and Crystal Springs. Uh, and this is only going to infect uh, Rexford, Harrisville, uh, Star, and Whites, Mississippi, uh, for the potential of an observed tornado uh, that is just off to the north of Panola, Mississippi. And these are rotating showers, guys. Uh, this is not even a thunderstorm because I've actually got the lightning cut on. And as you can see, there is very, very little lightning. Okay. Okay. Uh, National Weather Service in Jackson continues the warning until 430 uh, for Jasper County. Uh, Mississippi, uh, and this has continued to be a radar indicated. So that one is the one uh, that is north of Montrose, Mississippi, still is radar indicated, and the one that is over here uh, towards the Harrisville, Mississippi area is observed. And I can actually put this into motion for you, and as you can see, everything is just creeping up off towards the northwest. And we also need and the good news is around McGee right now I just saw that thunderstorm uh, that was coming into McGee but I do not see any rotation uh, with that storm which is good uh, so the only storm of concern are going to be these over here near Harrisville Mississippi and then this one over here uh, that is north of Montrose uh, that includes Roberts, Lawrence, and Dennis Sentiment, Mississippi. Okay, uh, for northern Jasper, southwestern Newton, and east central Scott counties uh, until 445. Uh, Roberts and Lawrence, Mississippi, uh, are impacted by the storm and okay. All right. Uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. was located near Turnerville, or 13 miles south of Newton, moving to the north at 20 miles per hour. That was the old warning. 
me wait and see. There, okay, so they've updated now. Okay, so uh, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Roberts, or 10 miles southwest of Newton, uh, moving northwest at 20 miles per hour. Uh, it is over Roberts right now, uh, and it will be near Lawrence at 435 this afternoon. All right, so there is... Your severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Roberts. Next up would be Tanglewood, Lawrence, and Dennis Settlement, Mississippi. And then, of course, Single, Singleton Settlement as well. Weird names in Mississippi, folks. Also, if you're watching right now uh, along Highway 80 and uh, 20, Highway, Interstate 20, uh, in between... Florence and Newton, Forest and Newton, Mississippi. Uh, nobody should be driving along the interstate there uh, because of a possible tornado. Okay, so the Weather Service has gone back to radar indicated for the western storm for Rankin and Simpson counties. Okay, so both warnings now are radar indicated. All right, so we've got this area of rotation near Harrisville, Mississippi. We've got this area of rotation uh, that is near Roberts, Mississippi. And both of them are moving off in this direction right here. Uh, and like I said, that one down here uh, that I'm circling and drawing on right now uh, looks like it could take a track closer to the Jackson, Mississippi metro area if it holds together. Uh, but those are the only two areas of concern right now. And I can put both of them into motion for you. And you know, honestly, looking at everything right now, this one over here near Roberts has really broadened out again. It was really tight uh, back towards Montrose and Verba, and now it has really broadened out. Uh, and if that trend continues, I would expect the Weather Service in Jackson to cancel that warning. Uh, but they are still canceling. I mean, they're still uh, got the tornado warning active for Jasper, Newton, and Scott counties until 445. But like I said, if if this trend continues, I would expect both of these warnings. Uh, to be canceled because they are really looking like that they are losing uh, their tightness and becoming more broad. Uh, and I can actually show you that this right here, when you have this arcing of the wind, uh, that looks like more of a straight line wind threat rather than a tornado threat. Uh, so there is still some definite straight line wind threat with that down there close to Harrisville, Mississippi. Uh, but like I said, that is really looking like more of a straight line wind threat rather than a tornado threat. And like I said, this one up here has really broadened out and it wasn't as tight as it once was when it was down in this area. Because uh, I, will, I will step this along for you and you can see right back in here, uh, it was very tight north of Montrose. And now it is just really broadened out some. Uh, and once again, this storm down here uh, off to the west of Mendenhall was rather tight as well. And now it has gotten broad as well. Uh, so once again, both of these are still in effect, uh, but they are showing signs of weakening right now. And the good news is I'm not seeing any other areas at all anywhere in Mississippi uh, that would catch my eye 
uh, for the potential of rotating storms. Let me check uh, with New Orleans. No, I'm not really seeing anything out of New Orleans. Let me check over here at Mobile. Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything out of Mobile either. Okay, so we still have those two tornado warnings, uh, but I would almost guarantee uh, that those warnings are about to be canceled uh, because there's just nothing there right now. Uh, but still, be in your safe place still uh, for a little bit, a little bit longer. If you were over here towards Lawrence, Mississippi, uh, in between Forest and Newton, Mississippi, and also if you're over here. Uh, near Harrisville, uh, just until the Weather Service decides to cancel those warnings. Uh, but that's the situation that we got going on right now. Uh, if you're just now joining me, uh, there are your two tornado warnings uh, that include Jasper, Newton, and Scott counties uh, in in central Mississippi. Uh, in between Forest and Meridian, Mississippi, and then this one storm uh, that is down here in Rankin and Simpson counties uh, south of the Jackson, Mississippi metro area, and everybody else is fine. Uh, everybody else has just got heavy rain. Let me cut back on the radar. So... Jackson, Mississippi is getting rain, and if you're, let me see, yeah, if you're about to go home uh, in Jackson right now, uh, especially if you were over here from uh, Ridgeland to Jackson and points east, uh, it's going to be a very nasty uh, commute home. Uh, if you were over here towards Meridian, there could be some spotty showers coming up at you uh, here uh, within the next little while. Uh, let me check up here and see about our friends up here in Starkville and Columbus. Uh, yeah, there's some moderate rain uh, from Columbus over to Starkville and Macon, Mississippi and Louisville. Uh, and then we've got that one storm uh, that does bear watching north of Livingston. And let me check velocity because it was showing signs of rotating earlier. And yeah, there's still a couple of there. Uh, so places up here north of Livingston... Uh, the Weather Service in Birmingham might actually uh, pull the trigger on a tornado warning for Sumter County. Uh, so if you know of anybody over there. Uh, but once again, we are awaiting uh, confirmation. Okay, so the uh, Storm Prediction Center has just put out a uh, mesoscale discussion, and it says for a portion of Mississippi and southwestern Alabama uh, that there is a couple of brief tornadoes remain possible uh, through this afternoon, but a watch issuance is not expected. Uh, so once again, uh, there could be a couple of areas of uh, a brief tornado uh, that is down here uh, in southwestern Mississippi. However, there are, uh, no, there are no, there's a, not supposed to be a watch issued. So once again, we are awaiting confirmation from Jackson. Okay, so the National Weather Service in Jackson is going to continue the tornado warning for Lake Miss. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Weather Service in Jackson. It's going to continue the tornado warning for Rankin and Simpson counties until 5 o'clock.
and apparently they're going to continue the warning for Newton and Scott counties until 445. Okay, so if you're watching in Newton or Scott counties in Mississippi, uh, this is going to remain over mainly rural areas of southwestern Newton and east central Scott counties uh, until 445. And this does include the following locations of Lake Mississippi, but I'm not seeing anything there. Uh, maybe uh, just a little bit of rotation uh, that is over here uh, west of Roberts, but that is nothing like it was back down here when it was near Montrose, Mississippi. Uh, let me also check on this other storm over here. I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing there. I mean, I, I trust the guys at the Weather Service in Jackson. That's 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 why I'm here. Uh, but there's there's literally nothing there. Uh, just south of uh, Harrisville, uh, over to Rexford and Star, Mississippi. I mean, there, 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 there's nothing there. Um, this storm did produce a brief tornado uh, near Prentice and just north of Panola, Mississippi earlier. Uh, that may be why they are continuing the warning. Uh, but once again, those are the only two warnings that we have to deal with right now. Uh, if you were watching in Jasper County, Mississippi, your severe weather threat is over uh, for uh, this tornado. Uh, so the warning continues for 23 minutes for Newton and Scott counties in central Mississippi until 445. And then this other warning for Rankin and Simpson counties. All right, so once again, these are the warning areas. You have a tornado warning radar indicated for Newton and Scott counties until 445. You have a tornado warning for Rankin and Simpson counties until 5 o'clock. And by the way, the, the probability of the Storm Prediction Center posting a watch for Mississippi is 5%. 5%. So a tornado watch will not be coming tonight unless trends continue. Okay, so the National Weather Service has, like I said, they've canceled the Jasper County uh, because it's moved out of the county, but it continues Newton and Scott counties until 445. But I'm telling you, there's nothing there. Let me back out. Columbus may be too far away. Yeah, Columbus is going to be too far away for, for the one south of Jackson. There's just nothing there. So if you're watching in Lake Mississippi, please be in your safe place right now. They still continue the tornado warnings for Mississippi, but I don't see it. Okay, so your area of rotation is going to be right here. And if you are in Lake or Tanglewood, Mississippi, 
please be in your safe place right now. Just like I thought, weather service in Jackson has canceled. Newton and Scott counties. So we are down to one warning, folks. We are down to one warning in Mississippi. So Newton and Scott counties have been allowed to to cancel. All right, so all we've got left is this tornado warning uh, that does include Harrisville, Mississippi, Rexford, and Star. But I would venture to say that the National Weather Service in Jackson is in the process of canceling that one as well because there's nothing there. But please, go in and stay will be in your safe place if you're along 469 or 29 or 49. Jackson continues tornado warning. Radar indicated for Rankin and Simpson until 5. That's puzzling. All right, there, there's literally nothing there in Rankin or Simpson counties. I'm sorry. And like I said, that is the only active storm that we've got in the state of Mississippi right now is that storm that is over Rankin and Simpson counties in Mississippi until 5 o'clock. Yeah, there's your new warning or updated warning. This dangerous storm will be near uh, White's around 5 o'clock. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Harrisville or near Star, uh, moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. We are just awaiting to see what the weather service is going to do because I'm puzzled as to why they're keeping this warning active. Hmm. Wow. (sighs) 
So once again, uh, if you were down here near Whites, Mississippi, also King, Rexford, and Gamma, Mississippi, uh, go ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, Mississippi, 469 South, Clear Branch, and 469 be in your safe place right now. And this is also including Rexford and Gamma, Mississippi, also Whites, just off to the west of Touchstone, Mississippi. So, Sanaya? Sine, 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 Mississippi. And this does touch the southern extent of Florence, Mississippi. So once again, if you were in Rexford, Gamma, Whites, Clear Branch, or King, Mississippi, please be in your safe place. And this is for Rankin and Simpson counties until 5 o'clock. 469 South. Please be in your safe place near King and Rexford. Okay, and we got tornado warnings ongoing, and they decided to put the climate report for the day. For Jackson, Vicksburg, Meridian, Greenville, Hattiesburg, and Greenwood. Uh, Meridian got almost an inch of rain today, though. So once again, we are zoomed in here over... Rankin and Simpson counties in Mississippi... Uh, we got a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado over Harrisville or near Star moving to the northwest at 15, but I am just not seeing anything there. Uh, I'm not sure. Huh. This warning goes until 5 o'clock. There we go. Alright, so tornado warning has been canceled uh, for Rankin and Simpson counties finally in Mississippi. Alright, so there are no more active tornado warnings on the board. All right, so real quick, while I've got you here, uh, if you are about to head home in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area, if you are about to head home in the Brandon, Mississippi area, if you are about to head home in Richland, Pearl, or Florence, uh, you're going to get a lot of heavy rain for your drive home in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area. Let me also show you uh, that if you are driving home over here near Newton, Mississippi or Meridian, uh, there is going to be off and on showers for you guys as well uh, for your commute, commute over here towards Meridian, Stonewall and Enterprise, Mississippi. Now, real quick, let me take you down here uh, towards the Hattiesburg area, and I think you guys are going to be clear uh, for your drive home uh, as all of the stuff has moved north of your area. Uh, so Hattiesburg should be a, a, a dry drive home. And one more stop. Uh, let me check on our folks up here in Columbus, Mississippi, and for the people up here, Columbus to Starkville, your drive home is going to be very, very 
uh, with a very light band of showers moving over your area. Uh, so once again, all of the tornado warnings have been allowed to expire uh, from Jackson. So I am going to sign off here on Facebook and social media. In case we have other tornado warned storms, I will be back right here on social media giving you guys the latest weather information. However, right now I see no other signs uh, down here in the Pine Belt area of Mississippi of any other storm uh, trying to rotate right now. Uh, so that is the good news. Uh, for our friends down here in the Pine Belt area of Mississippi and South Mississippi as well. However, I will continue to watch this, and if anything pops back up later tonight, you know I'll be right back here on social media providing you guys the latest weather information uh, to give you guys a secondary uh, line of weather information for you guys right here on social media Hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. And as always, from me to you, God bless.